Hello Uganda. My name is Mwanguzi Shadrach from Health Touch Uganda. Today I'm going to be talking about family planning and contraception in this season of the pandemic. Uh, family planning is something that is supposed to be emphasized over and over again regardless of the season. Especially now in this season where people have a lot of time People are most of the times home, they are not engaged like before. There is a lot of sexual activity that goes on and people are likely to end this pandemic with either unwanted pregnancies or even children or babies that, that were never planned before. You will remember in the early days of the pandemic, during the first lockdown especially, there are many pregnancies that were reported. Most of them were even in the teenagers. The school girls that were not going to school were at the end of the day confirmed pregnant and things like that. So that's why I've come out today to answer some of the questions around pregnancy, I mean around contraception and family planning even in this pandemic. So some people ask, is it uh, divisible to do uh, contraception or family planning during the COVID-19 situation? I want to say it is good and it is uh, very necessary because having children is good, but it's better when they come in at a time when you are ready for them and have planned for them. But if they just come in as a mistake or an accident, then you might be stressed, especially in the early days of such a situation. So to avoid that, it's better you go to a nearby health facility that provides family planning services to ensure that you're enrolled. They will teach you about the different modalities and you pick on your modality of interest. Some people ask what is the best family planning method. Most of the modern family planning methods that are being used are good and I may not point out at one and say maybe this is the best because what is good and best for, the, for this person may not be the best for another person. So you may have to first try on what has impressed you first and if you have no issues as time goes on with it then you might have to continue and if you get issues that's when we say maybe we need to use another one but maybe before you start on any you have to discuss at length with your professional healthcare provider especially if you have certain underlying illnesses like people who have diabetes high blood sugar levels people who have high blood pressure people that have breast cancer people that smoke all those categories you might have to discuss with your healthcare professional provider about which one is best for you but it is important and it is feasible and it is advisable to practice uh, family planning or even contraception even in this season of the pandemic some people ask i want to avoid getting pregnant during the COVID-19 pandemic, what can I do? Just like I've said, you can practice this family planning. Go to a nearby health facility and you get taught about the different methods and pick on any of your choice. But in case you are not able to go to a health facility because of the uh, lockdown, because of the restrictions in travel and movement because of the public transport system which is not functional at the moment you might have to devise other means just across the street that drug shop that pharmacy they have things that can help you in avoiding unwanted pregnancies one of the best contraception methods if used properly I will emphasize that if used properly is the use of condoms because condoms have a dual kind of protection. One, they protect you against unwanted pregnancies 
and they also protect you against sexually transmitted infections. So if you use them properly, you might actually as well prevent getting unwanted pregnancies even before you go to a health facility that will help you enroll on any of the long-term and reliable forms of family planning. For the people that realize at the end of the day that maybe you engaged yourself in sexual intercourse and you are not protected, you can still have a chance to prevent the pregnancy. They are what we call emergency contraception pills and these help you in preventing uh, the pregnancy. It's not abortion because abortion in our country or in our society is illegal. And one of the reasons as to why it is important to talk about such issues in such a season is people end up becoming pregnant but because they cannot accommodate the fact that they are pregnant because of the fear, because of the lack of necessities to maintain this pregnancy, they end up committing what we call illegal abortion. And every time you commit an illegal abortion, you stand a chance of complications which might actually cost a life as well. So it's important to take your life so serious and be proactive, not reactive. Prevent it from happening instead of fighting it when it has already happened. Some other people ask, I have an implant already, but because of the travel restrictions, I am not able to get this implant out. Maybe it's an implant, it's an IUD. They told you about this time, it will have to be taken out. I want to assure you, please don't panic. There is nothing you're going to uh, experience that is very bad or that's bad actually because of the implant that is there beyond the estimated duration. Please don't try removing it yourself. If you cannot access the health facility from where you got it from, wait until when the best time will come and they will take it out. They are the professionals that know how to handle those things. There is no complication, there is no danger that's going to arise from having that implant staying longer. Some people ask, in this pandemic, we have all come to learn that COVID-19 increases the chances of the formation of small blood clots in the body and yet some of the contraceptive methods especially the tablets they are those we call the combined oral contraceptives they also favor the formation of blood clots so if someone has coronavirus disease and they are also on this oral uh, contraceptive methods like the especially the combined oral contraceptives they wonder am I not at a double risk of formation of the formation of blood clots I want to say yes your question is valid however the people that have mild symptoms of the illness the people that are asymptomatic, asymptomatic I mean someone that doesn't have even anything at all, they don't feel anything, they don't have flu, they don't have fever, they don't have cough, they don't have body pains, they don't have those things, but they have been confirmed to have coronavirus, are not at risk of formation of blood clots. So there is no reason to stop the use of combined oral contraceptives or any uh, contraceptive method. I want to repeat that. For people who have a mild illness, those who are asymptomatic, the only thing you have maybe is a fever, you only have a flu, you have cough, body pains and joint weakness. You don't stand high chances of formation of blood clots and you shouldn't discontinue the 
drugs that you've been using for your family planning but for people who have uh, severe forms of the illness the people that have chest pain difficulty in breathing they are air hungry those ones and have been in hospital for a number of days maybe seven days and above on the bed they are not moving they have a high chance of developing or forming those blood clots that may affect their other parts of the body it's better to stop the use of these combined oral contraceptives until you are out of danger because when you use them your risk is increased more and more of forming those blood clots so when you're out of danger you have been discharged you have no problem then you can choose to resume the use of your combined oral contraceptives i want to conclude by saying it is possible to get out of this pandemic without unwanted pregnancies an unwanted pregnancy can stress you and can change many things in your life and the pattern of your life so it's better to prevent it when you still can do it i said it's better to be proactive than being reactive if you have any other questions you can channel them through our official media platforms that's facebook whatsapp instagram twitter youtube and we shall be able to accord them the due attention organize a session and respond to them like we have in this particular video mwangu zishadrak health touch uganda follow the light